Hello, Pisces. Welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for the second half of May. I've meditated upon the cards, and I have pre-shuffled. Let's get into your reading, my beautiful ones. Oh, okay. Okay. Before Spirit showed me the image, uh, the image. There was a few things that came to mind and a few things that I, I heard. So some of it was energies that I was connecting with. Other were uh, words that came to me. Uh, it feels like some of you may be lacking knowledge in some way, shape, or form. Um, I also heard a lesson needs to be learned. There, there may be a lesson that needs to be learned. There, there is something that you have to double check before completing it or submitting it or whatever. Um, there may be something that requires some sort of adjustment and there may be also something that stands out, but you may overlook it for whatever reason. It feels like there's, um, it feels like there's, yeah, it, it just feels like you're overlooking something that you may be seeing something or not seeing something like you're doing something, but you're not seeing something to its totality. I don't know what that means. You'll know what it means for you and your your energy and your space. I don't, I don't know. Um, if you know, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, but the vision, the image that spirit showed me was Saturn. And I clearly saw it at Sa as Saturn, but it feels like your perception of it was a spaceship. So your perception may be off. So what you were, I mean, going back to uh, like a, a knowledge that you may be lacking or a lesson that you may learn. Uh, it feels like you may see something, but not as it is intended to be or as it really is. So for an example, let's say um, you've dealt with somebody that is very controlling or domineering, male, female, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, and you've dealt with that sort of an energy before, right? And now you're about to date somebody else. And then you, you said, oh, I'm never going to do that again. And then I'm not saying this is your situation. I'm giving you an example. Um, and it feels like uh, you would go and date somebody else. This is the energy. Uh, and it feels like you would date somebody else and they are that exact same way, but maybe you're overlooking it because you just want to be in a relationship. So it's like, you're writing it off and you're like, oh, they're just loving. They, they are, they want to be with me. They, you know, they, 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 they want to make sure I'm safe, but really they're controlling and domineering, Right. So again, it just feels like your perception of something is off. Um, whatever that is, or, you know, maybe you're at a, a company and you're working with some groups of people and you've dealt with the, those types of people before. And you're like, I'm never going to do that again. They always give me this, the work and you, you choose never to do it again, but then you come into a new workplace or new group of people show up at work and, and you just want to be a part of the group. And this group is like specifically one person in, in specific is like, oh, but Pisces, you're amazing at this. You know, you should really do it because you're really, really good at this. But really, they're just stroking your ego so that you do the work for them. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of a feeling. So a lesson needs to be learned is what I'm getting here. And a, a lack of some sort of knowledge, whatever that is, 
okay? Because it does feel like you know something, but it feels like it's hidden, like far back, right? Far, far back. All right, enough of that energy. Let's look at your cards. We have the chariot in reverse, the three of pentacles, three of wands in reverse, ace of cups in reverse, seven of swords in reverse, ten of pentacles in reverse, ten of wands, four of wands, and page of cups in reverse with the tower at the bottom of the deck. With this tower, it feels like you're very vulnerable. It feels like you are scattered a little bit on the inside that you're, you're grappling with, uh, or grappling with a lot of different emotions and you don't know how to manage them. Or if it's not emotions, it's situations, it's maybe a lot of different things, a lot of pieces together, and you don't know how to combine them. Whatever that looks like for you. Yeah. It, even here with the five of, um, wands in reverse it feels like you don't want conflict and because of conflict we have the six of wands at, underneath that yeah even with the six of wands i feel like somebody's stringing you along like oh look you can just just look at this don't look at anything else just look at this All right, we'll get some clarifiers here. It, it can only get better from here, right? Oh, before I get clarifiers, let's let's read let's read your cards. Let's start there, okay? <laughs> With this chariot card, it feels like one step forward, ten steps backwards. You know, and even with this three of pentacles, it it's not even complete. You know, they're supposed to be working together right? Within this three of pentacles, it feels like you're, they're supposed to be together. And here you are, I'm seeing you as this person, right? There you are. Let me see if I can get this to focus. There you are, right? And this bird's going, nah, I'm going to do this. And this one's like, no, I got the key. I'm going to do that. You know, and you're like, hello, we've got to get this done, right? It, again, it just feels like but you want to be a part of this group, this entity, this whatever, this social group. And, and I know that this is not the three of cups, but that's what I'm getting here with this three of pentacles. Like you want to be a part of something and it feels like other people are making it really difficult. Like, oh yes, we want you to be a part of it, but you really aren't a part of us, right? Because these are birds and you're dressed like the birds, but you really aren't the birds right? You really aren't a part of it. So it feels like you're a bit of a misfit in, in whatever this is. Yeah. What you think is worth it. It feels like it's whatever, whatever. Okay. So two things, whatever you think is worth it really isn't really isn't. And you really shouldn't go after it. And then the other thing I was getting was, oh gosh, it escapes me. What you imagine something to be is not. Whatever it is you want to pursue and build should not be. In this particular instance, I'm not saying in all of your life, just in this, whatever this specific situation is. Yeah, because it feels like you are, you're dumping out your emotion and your desire into something, but it doesn't feel like you're getting anything in return or very, very little in return. Again, going back to, oh, focus on this. Focus on the cup. Don't focus on, and the little happy butterfly, don't focus on the fact that everything else is being dumped out. I'm strongly getting with the seven of swords in reverse that you really need to go within. 
remove yourself from this social circle that's going on here because I'm seeing this egg and you see that there's, it looks like that's an egg, but it looks like it's empty. It's void. And it feels like it's the egg that she's holding. At least that's how I'm seeing it. It feels like you need to remove yourself to gain your self-worth and find out what your true value is. Because right now, I'm not seeing that you see what your value is. It feels like you are a three of pentacles and you feel like you need to fit in into something, but really you're the 10 of pentacles. You have a lot more worth than these people are giving you credit for. And here you are doing the work, doing the work for other people. And they're like, oh, here you go. It's wonderful, but you do it so well. And you're like, okay, I'll take on the burdens. No problem. You know, even if you're carrying flowers, after a while, things start getting heavy, you know, and it, it starts to become a burden. I mean, you're, you're still hunched over. You have no business being hunched over. This tulip or whatever flower this is, is fairly high. You don't need to be hunched over, but you have all of this extra flowered weight on you that is unnecessary. You really, this is suggesting, remember, um, that Saturn spaceship uh, imagery that I saw, you may be over idealizing a situation. Again, not seeing it or exactly what it is, right? You, you may not be seeing, and people may not see your true value. Or even if they do see your true value, they're trying to keep you in a cup. They don't want to put you in a lake. They don't want to see you flourish. They're keeping you in this cup. That's how I'm seeing this. And here you are, this little fish. Just pay attention to me. You're bigger than me. You're, you're grander than me. You hold more value than me. Pay attention to me. Look at me. Look at me. But you don't even belong in this cup. You belong out in this ocean, but they're holding you in place. I'm seeing a lot, a lot of slithering and tentacles and shackles in my mind's eye. Again, going back to that, oh, you're so wonderful, but really... It's just a mask. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Um, let's, we're definitely going to need some clarifiers here. Pisces, I, I don't know what in the hell is happening here. Because I, and we're certainly going to get an outcome to see, and we'll get advice to see how we're going to get past this. And then an outcome to see what that looks like. But I do want a card here for the chariot, please, if you don't mind, spirit. Okay, there it is. Told you, there's that devil. And remember I said slithering? That's exactly what it is. You're carrying the Ten of Wands, exactly what I said here. You're carrying the Ten of Wands, but they're making it seem like, oh, it's not a big deal. It's totally fine. But it's constricting. It's this, this doesn't feel good at all. Like at all. I have a card here for the three of pentacles. I mean, I'm pretty sure you know what this situation is, but I do. I do want a card. No. Okay. Um, I saw the nine of wands and I do feel like, again, what did I say? You're carrying, and there it is again. The spirit wants it. You're doing the work. You're, you're doing the work. You can't really freaking even hide behind that. That's you're, you're the one doing all of the work. And again, look, everybody's behind you with the, with the pink. Oh, wonderful. You're doing a great job. Congratulations, Spices. How wonderful you are. 
you needed you needed switch gears here is what I'm getting here. Whatever this is is not good. You you need to go a different route, and that's what this fool is saying. You need to go within yourself, and you really need to pay attention and grab your own stick and go. Wait a minute. Why am I doing all of the work? Why should I be doing all the work? Just because you're giving me praise or whatever. Nah, if I'm going to do all the work, then I'm going to get all the praise. Screw that. I mean, that's what I'm getting here with this with this fool. Because this fool feels a lot more energetic. And they feel a lot more energetic because they're carrying their own stick. They're not carrying everybody else's stick. All right. Um, I want a card here for the seven of swords and then yeah okay remember I said something about uh with the seven of swords what did I say I said what did I say what what did I say you know what I'm hearing in my head is Imogen Heap's song uh, what, what's it called? What did you say? Or what, what'd you say? Uh, look it up, look up, look up the words. I feel like it's going to be very important to you. And it kind of goes something like, what'd you say that you only meant? Well, well, of course you did, you know, but really it's just words. It, it really isn't reality you know this is the nine of cups you need to fill your own cup walk away from whatever this is to fill your cup stand independently because in the nine of cups you you celebrate normally the person is celebrating by themselves right this is asking you hey take a step back really see things for what it is because it feels like you are watering everybody else's plants, but not your own. Okay. And once you recognize that, I feel like you're going to have a whole different perception of the actual situation. Okay. Six of cups in, re in reverse. Yeah, it, it's not good. This doesn't feel happy. It doesn't feel unionized. Like people are, yeah, it doesn't feel like this is a, a good union. Whether it's in work, you know, in friendship, in a relationship, family, whatever it is. All right, I want a card for the Ten of Wands. That's what I want. And it's funny because we have three and three and then ten and ten. They're seeing you as threes, or maybe you value yourself as a three, or you see yourself at three, but really your true value is a 10. I feel like these people are always trying to notch you down, like bring you like to a level down. What is going on here? Ten of Wands, please. Ten of Wands. Hmm. Judgment, Three of Cups. Like, look, here you are thinking that you're in a union, but really, you just don't want to argue with people. You're, you're, and it feels, yeah, it feels like they're just doing it on purpose. Four of Pentacles. I feel like these people are really freaking greedy, trying to make you to do all the work. And here you are. Remember, I said something about you pouring out your cup into everybody else's sink. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. And these are just greedy, and you're pouring into it. Yeah, I'll help you. No problem. I'll work as a team. But really, you're just tying yourself up to these people. And these people are just, I don't like it. People, person, situation, whatever this is. I don't know. You know your situation. I have a card here for the four of wands. Okay. 
they don't even want. Oh, look at that. Lovers and a four of wands, this could be a marriage for some of you. Uh, or a, a work commitment, a something that you're committed to, uh, whatever this is. But you choose to stay in here. So you can choose to stay in or, or step out of whatever this is. The lovers is, after all, a, um, a card of choice. All right? But it feels like you can... It, it's something that you're committed to. Whatever this situation is, it involves being committed or being... Um, yeah, being committed to a certain cause or let's say, for instance, you have a business and you're working with a partner. You're doing all of the work. Your partner isn't. Let's say you're married and you're carrying all of the weight and your partner really isn't. Um, let's say you're working at a company and you work with a group of people, you know, whatever this is, right, that you do things for and they really don't do jack. So, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, five of wands in reverse, five of pentacles in reverse, eight of swords, six of swords, eight of pentacles, nine of swords. Okay, as far as advice is concerned, two of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. What I'm getting here with this particular uh, two of swords at the bottom of the deck is, again, you're not seeing things for exactly what you are, but for what it is. However, once you do realize it and you untie whatever that is, because now you see, right? Normally there's uh, somebody whose eyes are covered and ears are covered. Here, you don't see any of that. You're just bound, right? Because it feels like things are coming into light with this moon. Now that things are becoming clear, you start to unravel whatever this is and free yourself from it. Okay. As far as advice is concerned, this is saying, listen, there's no need to argue. Just step away graciously from whatever this is. Free yourself. I mean, this is talking about this eight of swords. This eight of swords is typically about restricting yourself. Don't restrict yourself. Don't settle to be a three of pentacle when you're a 10 of pentacle. Don't do that, right? There's no need. And it's funny. This is a pentacle. That's a pentacle. That's a wand. And this is a wand. Okay? You have more self-worth. You have more creativity. Literally, you have more of what they want. They're just suppressing you. They're keeping you in your place. But all you have to do is walk away slowly. No need to argue. No need to shine the light on yourself or shine the light on what they're doing. Just tiptoe yourself away from whatever the hell this situation is. Free yourself. Detach yourself from whatever this is. So you're unbinding yourself here with this card. And here with the Eight of Pentacles, you're learning. You're gaining that knowledge. Remember I said there's knowledge that you're lacking. Gain that knowledge that you were missing. Once you gain that knowledge, look how straight, look, it, it's curved. Here it's all bounded. Here it's broken. Here you're starting to uh, pull away. Here it's still a little swervy, but not as much. And here it's starting to become more straighter. And then remember, do not repeat this. Uh, remember to learn the lesson so you don't repeat it. That's what I'm trying to say here. Remember to learn the lesson so you don't repeat it. Because I said something about a lesson you need to learn, right? Yeah. All right. Let's get an outcome here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Outcome. Oh, yeah. The emperor. Remember I said something about somebody that is um, overpowering, over challenging, or whatever. I, I, I said something about that earlier. There's the emperor in reverse. 
emperor is building, right? They, they are builders, but I feel like I'm pretty sure I said it. Um, but here I feel like this is somebody that is just overpowering over. Yeah. Overpowering, uh, taking advantage of their place. And again, keeping you down in whatever this is. I don't know what this is, but it's something. Okay. Ten of wands in reverse. Five of swords in reverse. Temperance. Seven of cups. Oh, sorry. Temperance in reverse. Seven of cups. And king of wands. As far as an outcome is concerned, what I'm getting here is that whatever burdens you're going to carry moving forward, they're going to be yours and yours alone and nobody else's. And of course, this is free will. This is as long as you learn the lesson and not repeat that cycle, like, like this particular nine of swords. And that's, I feel like that's exactly what it is. As long as you free yourself. Yeah. I feel like whatever burdens you're going to be carrying, they're going to be of your, just of your own and, and it, they don't belong to anybody else. They're just yours. And it feels like you've caused You've caused a change that people were not satisfied with. And you definitely made some ripples, but it doesn't really feel like you care. With this temperance, you're like, eh, I, I did what I had to do. Everybody always did what they had to do. Now I feel like I had to do what I had to do. I had to create my own reality. I had to change things for me. Whether you like it or not, that's not my business anymore. I'm not carrying your weight anymore. Yeah, I feel I feel a lot of clarity from the seven of cups from you. I feel like other people are confused. Like, what do you mean, Pisces? Like, I, but no, this is the way it's always been. But here you are in the king of wands energy saying, I don't know what to tell you, people. I don't know what to tell you. I know my worth. I know my value. I know what I can offer, but, but it comes at a cost. So if, if you want this from me, now you're going to have to pay for it. Or now, you know, whatever that looks like for you, it just feels like if somebody wants from something from you, you don't just willy nilly give it to them. You know, you, you put, you put, um, um, certain practices in place. Okay. You want this from me that will, tr that will cost you at this, right? I'm not saying friends and families that don't take advantage of you. I'm not saying in regards to that, I'm saying towards the people that do take advantage of you, right? Let's say you have a business and they're like, Oh yes, but Pisces, you, you've always done it. You've always done it for this price. And you're like, yeah, I understand. But now it's going to be this price moving forward. I don't know what to tell you, you know, price of inflation, price of this, price of that, whatever it is. Or if it's friends and family that constantly are asking for help and don't give anything back and they just want you to do the work. It feels like you have a very strong boundary here. You go, mm, I love to, but I really can't. I'm busy with other things and you don't even need to give an, uh, an excuse. No, I really can't. But good luck doing it. You know, whatever that looks like for you. And leave it at that because uh, uh, we're going to go back to this five of wands. No arguments. You don't have to argue. You don't need to help call them out. Be very peacefully tiptoe away from whatever this is and say, no. And just, you're, you're just holding your ground. I like that. Good job. Far better ending than beginning. <laughs> All right. Final message. Go outside. It's time to go outside. Time. Oh, no, just kidding. Sorry. Go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune in to the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. It came out in reverse. What I'm getting with this particular card is step outside whatever these situations are, whatever this specific situation is, it could be multiple situations. I don't know. Step away from those things 
because it feels like this is not a natural habitat. You're not in your natural place. Back to this fish. You're not in your natural place where you need to be. You, you're a fish. You need to be out there in a lake, a river, an ocean, right? You don't need to be in a cup. So don't restrict yourself. Or was that, that eight of swords, right? Step outside of whatever this situation is so that you can expand your viewpoint on whatever this is so that you don't have to feel like this on the inside and, and you can raise your value down Pisces get it it may sound a little rough but it ends nicely okay so hang tight you got this I hope this did resonate if it did like share subscribe and comment clicking that subscribe button costs absolutely nothing to you but it does help my channel grow and allows me to give more content like this. So if you did like this, please consider subscribing. Until we meet again, have an amazing May.